Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? Um, my name is Defensive and I'm going to bring out a short docking tutorial here, uh, as short as I can make it. Uh, obviously this game is in alpha currently and everything is changing with each patch, so the screens uh, and panels that you might see in this video might not be the same, um, you know, in a month or in a few months or whatever. So, but I believe docking as a uh, as a format will stay relatively the same so uh, even if the panels look different and everything um, in the future uh, the docking itself should be relatively similar so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little tutorial here this is gonna be for uh, really new players looking at this game um, obviously Hellion is in early access there's plenty of bugs uh, but docking has improved quite a bit over the last uh, year or so um, so obviously uh, this is just like your starter location um, and docking is something you want to do when you want to attach something to something else in this case I'm going to be t attaching this module, which is an airlock module um, Known as AMAC you can see it at the top of my screen here uh, and attaching it to my outpost uh, This will allow me to go in and out of my outpost without venting my air into the, the vacuum of space uh, every time I want to leave or enter my outpost um, so Every module has uh, one of these panels right here on the top. It says uh, docking panel right there. Uh, I have my graphics turned all the way down just so I can reduce the light for this video. But um, this, uh, this does say, I promise it says docking panel access, even if it's kind of hard to tell. You go ahead and just hit your uh, activation button. Um, I have it binded to F. Uh, I'm not sure what the default is. Um, it opens up a panel like this. And you can go ahead and go into the screen. And before I get into this, I'm going to just go ahead and say, uh, you're going to want to make sure that there is a resource injector in this little slot. In every every uh, module that you're going to want to dock, it has to have a, a resource injector. Otherwise, it won't move. Um, it also needs to have nitro, which is a fuel. And you can obviously worry about that later. That's not something you're going to have to worry about in the early game. Um, but you will eventually have to worry about putting resource ejectors in this slot on every module you want to move not just if you want to dock it but if you want to move it period uh, you're going to need a resource injector um, and all of the starter modules start with them so this this airlock starts with one uh, that that CQM over there starts with one even your outpost has one and there's my ship over there which uh, also has one alright so let's get into this um, you're going to want to go into your docking screen here and it's going to start you at um, this screen, uh, I think they start you facing the wrong way just uh, just to get you used to the controls a little bit. Uh, obviously the tutorial will probably, or I guess uh, it's just a, the tutorial counts as just a, a screen talking you through it. But anyway, um, pressing R uh, is going to switch which side of the airlock you're looking through, or in the case of another module, which door you're looking through to dock from. Uh, so uh, for example, a command module has four doors and you can you can cycle through all four of the doors to to dock the specific door that you want to dock. All right, so let me just uh, exit this real quick. Um, so this side is the standard door, as you saw on that screen. It's labeled as the standard door. So this is one of the options I have to dock. And the other side is the, I forget what the exact term is, but it's basically just the airlock side. Um, and you can tell it's the airlock side because it has the depressurization panel right there. Um, and so you can't dock this side to a standard door. You can only dock an airlock onto an airlock. So one of the ships is called a mule, and it has an airlock. Not that ship over there. Uh, the other ship has an airlock. So you can, you can dock that airlock onto this airlock end. But you can't dock an airlock to a standard door. Um, so standard to standard, airlock to airlock. It's pretty simple, easy to remember, but if you're having trouble docking, uh, that could be a possibility of why yeah, something's not connecting. Uh, make sure that you are connecting standard to standard or airlock to airlock. Um, so I'm in the standard docking port. This is the airlock side, obviously facing the other direction. Uh, I think I bumped it, so it started spinning a little bit. Um, the controls here are pretty straightforward. It's simple WASD. Um, with uh, Newtonian physics, so if you press the forward button, you're going to be moving forward, and you're not going to stop until you either hit something or, yeah, that's it. You're gonna you, you either hit something or you just keep going in that direction. Um, obviously, Newtonian physics take a while to get used to, but you really don't want to hold down the button. If you're holding down the button, you're going to start accelerating really quickly and getting out of control. And this is obviously just one direction um, that I'm accelerating in, 
And uh, so if you're pressing, you know, if you're going forward and sideways and turning and backwards, and you're just going to be going all out of all out of sync trying to get back to just going in one direction, uh, trying to equalize your speeds. Um, as far as docking goes, um, I currently have this door selected on my outpost. I can cycle through it with my arrow keys. Um, so this is the stair ropes, which is my ship behind it. You can see it there. I can't dock this to that, so obviously it's not lighting up or anything. Um, and then the derelict as well. A derelict is just a broken module that you can't do anything with. Uh, sometimes there's loot inside, but in this case, uh, there's nothing I can do uh, to dock to it, so it won't light up either. I can select the outpost, and um, if the other door, so let's pretend for a second that the CQM, which is the module on the right-hand side of my screen, if that module wasn't docked on there, I could use my left and right arrow keys to cycle to that door if I wanted to put, let's say, this airlock on the other door. Uh, I could use the left and right arrow keys to select that door instead of this door to dock onto. All right, so as you can see, I have this door um, selected, and it's highlighted uh, very cleanly. And you can tell pretty, uh, pretty distinctly that this is what I'm aiming for. Uh, and I'm, as I'm sure you've noticed, there's a nice little octagon here on my screen that is uh, the same shape as the door, which is also an octagon. Uh, sorry, I just had to count the sides to make sure I'm not an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's um, let's go ahead and move in a little bit with my W key. Now, this little triangle at the top, right below where it says 0.0, .0 meters per second, um, that is referring to my orientation. So you see this uh, as I'm spinning, I'm no longer aligned correctly, right? And this, this little triangle shape, trapezoidal shape, we're learning our shapes today, uh, is turning red because I am not lined up with the door correctly. Uh, so I will not be able to dock uh, this specific way. Um, as I turn and orient myself correctly, it turns green, which means I am I'm at least aligned correctly. I might not be next to it um, close enough, but I am at least aligned correctly. Uh, so that's one of the things you want to pay attention to. Now, a lot of this is mostly eyeballing it. Um, and again, I really recommend you just barely tap your keys when you're doing this and go really slowly. Um, move yourself up, move yourself down until you think you're at the correct orientation uh, and correctly aligned. And then, so right now, if I just go straight forward, I will dock to it perfectly. Um, I don't want to quite do that yet, but you need to be going less than 10 meters per second. Um, so currently I'm going, I'm going zero because I'm just stopping. But let me back up a second here. Sorry, not less than 10, I misspoke. I mean less than 1.0. Uh, you need to be going less than 1.0 meters per second in relation to this uh, module, right? So as you can see, I'm going 1.1. If I, I'm perfectly aligned, but if I drive into the docking and into the door right now, it will not dock. Um, so it has to be less than 1.0. And at the bottom, you can see your speed um, and it's green, which indicates that it's dockable. It will dock at, I believe two meters even. Um, so when I'm within two meters, it'll dock right away. Um, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm just going to drive in. I recommend going slower than I'm going. Um, and you don't have to be, you know, perfect. It'll it'll work if you're not perfectly aligned. But um, all right, let's go take a look at this. As you saw, uh, it appears really simple. Uh, obviously, your first couple times, it's going to be a mess. Uh, Getting used to the Newtonian physics in this game is really difficult. Uh, so do not feel bad if you mess it up, if you run into your station, if you go spiraling off into the, the galaxy. You know, it, it's everybody does their first few times. Uh, it's relatively difficult. I just recommend taking it as slow as you can um, and trying to keep track of the directions that you're moving. Uh, it moves the same way as I'm moving now. You know, if I'm if I push the forward key, I'm going to keep moving forward and backward. I'm going to keep moving backward. Um, of course, uh, as you can see now, I'm about to enter a debris field. I've just entered a debris field. You're probably going to be docking in the debris field, so it's going to be a little bit more stressful. Uh, just know that your station probably, almost certainly, will not get destroyed in, you know, five or ten minutes, the time it takes you to dock this onto it. Uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fly over to the stair ropes real quick. We're going to go do a quick docking maneuver with the ship. I'll show you how to grapple this ship onto your station. All right, welcome back, everybody. So 
we're going to go ahead and dock this uh, Steropes, or Steropes, I'm not really sure how the pronunciation is for this ship. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grapple this ship to the station. Um, before I do that, let me just uh, say, okay, so your grapple is on the bottom of your ship. And the place that you grapple to on an on any module, well, okay, not any module, on almost all modules is on the top of the module. There are some exceptions, like a command module you dock to the side, um, and there are some other modules that you don't always grapple to the top. But for the most part, you're going to be grappling to the top of a module, so it's pretty easy to orient yourself before you go ahead and switch to the docking screen. I highly recommend you try to uh, at least make it a little bit easier on yourself by by hovering over the uh, station or whatever the module that you're trying to dock to is. Um, in this case, I'm going to be docking to the outpost, so I'm going to just pull right over it very slowly. Again, everything you want to do in this game is going to be pretty slow. Uh, and then I'm going to press M to match my, match my velocity to the station itself. All right, anyway, we're going to go into the docking screen, which is uh, three here. And this is going to be my anchor. Um, so obviously, I didn't line up quite correctly um, to my station how I wanted to, uh, but I'm close enough that I can see where it is and uh, I know relatively where I want to go. I'm going to go ahead and just move uh, vertically at, vertically in relation to this screen uh, so I can get a little bit of a better view. Here we go. I can see a little bit better. I'm going to bring this back down. All right. Uh, so once again, uh, I'm sure you can tell this is pretty much exactly the same as the other screen. I think I forgot to mention before that Q and E are your uh, rotations. Um, you can rotate and move at the same time, which can be confusing sometimes, so be careful with that. But uh, as long as you uh, at least relatively orient yourself uh, correctly, you'll be able to dock fine. Um, so obviously I have options here. I can go ahead and let me just back up a little bit so you can see. Um, I have the option of what I want to dock to. Uh, so again, I'm cycling through the, with the arrow keys, left to right. Uh, this is my CQM, which is my crew quarters module. I could dock to that if I wanted. Or my airlock module, which is the AM. Um, I don't want to, I want to dock to the outpost, but I figured I'd just uh, show that in there. So I'm going to go ahead, move myself over, and I usually dock a lot faster than this, but I'm going to go slowly just so you guys can kind of see how I'm dealing with the uh, Newtonian physics in the game as I'm docking. Um, a lot of the times I'm really sloppy with my docking. Um, I, am, I rarely ever take time to dock really, like, really slowly and, and correctly. I just kind of try to get it done as fast as possible in general. Um, that's after quite a bit of practice, so I, I'm very much used to how the physics in this game work and, and how the docking procedures all work. Um, so we're going to go ahead and dock to this, two meters in, and it docks correctly. And uh, there you go. We are now anchored on to our outpost, which has two modules attached. Um, I can move around with this. I can um, carry these. You can only go into FTL with three total modules. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Uh, I tried to make it as succinct as possible. I know these always end up taking a lot longer than I intend them to. Um, it's kind of the nature of this game, though. Whenever you want to do anything, it takes a decent amount of time because you kind of have to take a lot of this game really slow. Uh, a lot of things can go wrong really quickly, um, so you have to be pretty careful. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, have a good day.